Hello there, this is Analytical Chick. So I am going to play for you some little short clips. I pulled out, I broke down Candace's interviews from the fall. And in this particular uh, installment of talking about Candace Owens, I'm going to play for you all the different clips where she says whether she was or is a conservative or a liberal and has any sorts of comments about that specifically. And I'm going to go ahead and run that and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to comment a little bit about these clips for you. It's like somebody on the side of the road, a good looking woman with her car broke down and you pull over and you get mugged. I mean, this is literally scams. This is sensational, Paul. Well, I'm sure Candice will explain it better than I, but that was what gave her the red pill, right, Candice? The fact that you were basically bullied, intimidated by these people who were supposedly on your side to begin with. Again, exemplifying the fact all they're interested in, Candice, is power. It's not about protecting minorities. It's about furthering their own political agenda, correct? Absolutely. It is all about power miraculously people that were reaching out and telling the true story of what happened was Breitbart, people like Mike Cernovich and the Ralph retort, uh, publications and people that are white nationalists were stepping to the plate and defending an African-American entrepreneur who they all told me, we disagree with what you're doing entirely, but what's happening to you is wrong. So obviously it threw me down the rabbit hole. I considered myself a liberal at that time and I woke up. I just, I was forced fed the red pill. I was forced to face the facts, which is that there. By the way, Candace, did you start out as a liberal? I did. I definitely, I think everybody starts out as a liberal. There's that expression, right. if you're not a liberal right. when you're young, you don't have a heart. But I don't think I ever was a liberal, which I think might be true of a lot of people. They just aren't aware. If you're not actively involved in politics, you're not thinking about this stuff, you know, every single day, you sort of assume that liberal means freedom and why wouldn't someone want to be a liberal? The word sounds better than conservative, sure. right? Like, yeah. you know, yeah, so, I know. right? I'm a liberal. <laughs> right. um, but I've always been sort of a person uh, that wants to be able to think freely. And um, unfortunately, you can't really do that when you're a liberal. You have to sort of become the person according to your gender or according to the color of your skin. So you're actually in a mental prison. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you are the target of the, de you're the, the person the Democrats look at and ah, oh, she's ours, she belongs to us, you know. <laughs> was, was there a road to Damascus? The only people that covered what happened to me and um, wrote it correctly were the white nationalist Breitbart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a journalist named Alum Bakari. And, uh -huh. you know, he reached out and he covered the story extensively and accurately. So imagine, going to bed and thinking Breitbart is white nationalists and Washington Post are heroes and waking up and finding the exact opposite. Um, so it was... It was uh... So have you... Bec would you consider yourself a conservative now? Or? Yeah, absolutely, actually. So where do you stand on uh, our president? I mean, this has been a dividing line for right. among conservatives. Right. We, we argue about it here all the time. Right. Uh, how do you feel about what's happening in the White House? I love Donald Trump. I, I, first off, I think he's hilarious. Yeah, There's something hilarious. that is just like, you know, people always say I'm refreshing. I find him to be so refreshing because he's just, he's not reading from a script, right? Like, I mean, Barack Obama was a salesman, you know? He knew how to get on the podium. He could tell you exactly what you wanted to hear. And that's problematic because you, then you don't really know what's going on. You know, you can't differentiate between, you know, what's true and what's not. And I think the thing that I like the most about Donald Trump is that he's not afraid to say the things that need to be said, you know? Yeah. I love the fact, you know, right now I'm doing a video that'll be released later today about, you know, the NFL kneeling. I love that he just says that this is wrong. It is wrong. It this is isn't wrong. a debate. It's, it's, it's absolutely not. wrong, you know? And for a president to have the balls, you know, to get up there and say, this is BS, these people shouldn't have jobs, I, I commend him on that. I think yeah. that that makes him a really strong leader. People kind of see it and then you either get scared or you're like, no, no, I must be doing something wrong or whatever. Okay, so you wake up to all this. How did this then, how quickly did that jump to the way you thought about politics? Instantly. I mean, I, I was, I, I became a conservative overnight, <laughs> you know? I realized that liberals were actually the racists, that liberals were actually the trolls, and then at the very same time, you have to remember, this is April 2016. Trump is on the screen saying that the media is lying, that CNN is fake, that all of this, you know, it all began to resonate with me because I realized that everything he was saying was true. So I no longer bought into this idea when they, you know, they were calling him a racist, a rapist, a white nationalist, everything. I bought none of it because I knew that 
the media hired hitmen. And they were doing the most ridiculous hit job on Donald Trump from start to finish of his campaign. Yeah, all right, so I wanna put Trump aside for a second, but yeah. we, we will get back to Trump, but I'm, I'm just completely fascinated by your story. So okay, so you get this now about the media, right? right? But did it, so what changed with you, within you politically when you say you went from being a liberal to a conservative? Like, did you change on economics or on abortion or weed or gay marriage or? You know, when I think back on it, I just, I don't even know that I ever really was a liberal. I, w I didn't care about politics. Yeah. So you have to think about this. I'm just a girl that was trying to pay back my student loans. I wasn't involved in politics. I didn't really know what being a liberal meant, what being conservative meant. I think at the end of the day, I was always a conservative. I'm, I'm pretty rational. I'm very fact-based. Um, uh, in terms of I will always value like you know economics above like social issues and that sort of thing as I understand that that should take a back seat obviously um, you don't want to become a third world country you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> while screaming about yeah, uh, pronouns yeah. exactly so um, I think I was always a conservative or more conservative in that regard but I, I started really deeply considering politics my positions on everything because of that experience yeah where are you on the social stuff um I think I'm, what specifically what? Well, like gay marriage or Oh, I, I support gay marriage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I support gay marriage. Um, I'm not really sure about abortion. I don't really have a position on that just yet. I think through that a lot. I just have, I have so many people and friends that have been through it. Um, wow, look at you, a conservative saying, I, I don't have an answer on that. Yeah, I don't have I an thought, answer on I that. I thought you guys are all supposed to be yeah, evil, right. <laughs> rush to judgment, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, no, I'm open and I, and I make it very clear to everyone that I'm still learning. I'm still developing. I don't want to be one of these people that sits down and pretends I know every, that I know absolutely everything because I think that that's the problem in the world right now is that everyone is pretending to know everything and people aren't willing to learn. And if I can go from someone who thought that they were on the left to someone who is, I think, more centrist and more conservative in a matter of 365 days, mm. then it would do me a lot, you know, a lot of good to continue to keep listening and to continue to keep growing. Yeah. I like the emphasis on listening there. That's uh, yeah. it's nice and it's refreshing and it's real. I yeah. mean, that's the thing. So, okay, so. And I'm not even a registered Republican. So I'm still someone that could vote Democrat. I've never in my entire life, actually, if they had called me or tried to do the right thing, I've never in my entire life voted Republican. She's referring to um, over a year and a half ago when I was a liberal and a Democrat. And I was really passionate about anti-bullying, not realizing really naively um, what I was tapping into. And I instantly got red-pilled um, because I learned about the Gamergate scandal and that these girls were faking their own harassment. This is about where I come from. I'm not a person that's going to pretend that I was conservative my entire life. That so long story short, I was creating, I considered myself a Democrat and a liberal about a year and a half ago. I really didn't want was you running a system scanning who the bullies were. Right, exactly. Because that would have got them. It would have gotten them in trouble. So um, I instantly was right, Paul. I was intelligent enough, obviously, to understand what was happening. And it was just a crazy thing to go through, to think that everyone that you thought you were against, you were actually for. And it um, happened just in time. It was just as Trump was saying that the media was fake, and I was like, <laughs> he's telling the truth. What? Saying that I have urging everybody to vote Republican, that's a lie. I'm not a Republican, I'm not a registered Republican. They needed but do a little bit of research to determine that everything in there um, was just false. But they are trying to get black people not to listen to me. Okay, we're back. So you notice that she says things like, one of her throwaway arguments is that she repeatedly says, well, I really don't know because I wasn't that political. Well, I can actually disprove that. She had a site that a lot of people know about. It was called Degree 180. She had this site um, sort of before social autopsy, and I guess there was a little overlap where the site was still going on when they were trying to start social autopsy. So anyway, on this site, she and her little friends, it was like a group blog, and there are several articles about politics saying Donald Trump is horrible, saying Republicans are horrible, saying that people don't need the Second Amendment, saying that uh, Tea Party or this and and, and uh, promoting feminism and and then also besides actual politics, there was of course a lot of cultural leftism promoting immorality, promoting bad choices, promoting irresponsibility, promoting women just not getting married, not having families, promoting women just sleeping around, promoting sexual, you know, immorality, acting like 
uh, LGBT is completely normal when it's only a small percentage of the population. Now, some of this... I just named off stuff that's all over the site. Specifically, items that Candox had put up, um, mostly just socially left, but she did do an entire article on um, picking on Republican slash Tea Partiers, and she definitely promotes, like, feminist ideas and... She talks about, like, not using birth control and sleeping around. Or she talks about sex, like, sex before marriage is, like, this normal thing. But then she also has another article where she says she didn't have that many boyfriends. Um, And another disturbing article where she said she doesn't take birth control and none of her friends do. I think the implication there is that she's always gotten abortions. But she doesn't come out and say it. Oh, and another one where she said she basically tricked her nurse doctor team into giving her a prescription for Adderall. That was nice. Well, you know, um, just very socially leftist. Absolutely, 100%. And even some sprinkling in of politically leftist leanings in this site that she had. Besides social autopsy, you know, the site where they're concerned with hate speech. Um, All right, that's it for today. Um, I will continue to do videos about Candox. Not necessarily the next video, but there will be more videos on this. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I will see you all next time.